There's an explosion of language models that you can pick from these days, and there's also a lot of competition, and a lot of that is really just great. You can use tools like Olama to download models locally and run everything from your own hardware. And if you need something bigger, there's also vendors that can handle all the compute for you. However, there is a bit of a downside. It's great that we have all of these different models, but the downside is that it's also kind of hard to give all of them a spin. Maybe this one model needs a separate API key from a different vendor. Maybe this other model has a separate SDK. And even if you're dealing with Olama models that you can download locally, you still gotta download a lot of gigabytes and you might also need to figure out the compute in order to actually run it. And there's also the situation where there might be very good reasons for you to try out a open source model, because in the end, you can always host that on your own if you really need to, but there's still the matter of, well, you wanna quickly give it a spin as well. And again, it's great that we've got lots of these tools, but you do wanna be able to iterate quickly as you try new tools out. And if this is a feeling that you have, then there is this one service that might be worth looking at. It's called Open Router. It's a service that markets itself as the unified interface for LLMs, and they will hook you up to vendors that have popular models like Gemini from Google or Claude from Anthropic, but they also have a lot of these open source models that they can host for you as well. So one way to think about it is that Open Router is kind of the middleman of sorts, such that if you have an API key for Open Router, that they can then hook you up with any of the LLMs that you need. And then you don't need to have API key number one for vendor number one, API key number two for vendor number two, et cetera. Now, the reason I wanna give Open Router a spin right now is because there's this new model, Kimi K2, that seems to be quite popular. And I wanna give that a spin. So I should be able to go to search here and I should type Kimi K2, and then I am able to indeed see the model. It also seems that there's a free version available. So let's explore that. The whole idea with these free version models, by the way, is that they are free for you to experiment with, but that they do have a pretty substantial rate limit. You can't just spam and get lots of tokens back. The whole point here is that they wanna prevent abuse, so you can get it for free, but not if you send a whole lot of traffic. But this should be good enough for what I'm trying to do, which is to see if this will work nicely in my workflow inside of Marimo. So what I should be able to do now is also just explore the providers. It seems that there are two providers that can give this model for you. Another thing that they do is they keep track of the throughput and the latency of these different providers. So that's also part of the service. But before I'm gonna to connect to Open Router, I first need to create an API key. So I'm gonna to go to the settings, I'm gonna hit this button. I'm gonna say uh, local Marimo. There's an optional credit limit that I can set, but I'm just gonna skip that for now, hit create. And that gave me a key that I can go ahead and copy. And then from here, I can go to the user settings. I can go to the AI tab. And this might be slightly counterintuitive at first, but what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take that key that I just copied and I'm gonna put it in here in this OpenAI API key. And the reason for it is that OpenAI at this point is a standard now that lots of different model providers have converged on. So we're gonna use this OpenAI standard, but we're not gonna use the OpenAI service. The next thing we do is we change this one base URL. So openrouter.ai slash API slash V1. That's what you gotta put down there. And for the model setting, what I'm just gonna go ahead and do is I'm just gonna copy this name over here. Just hit the copy icon. And I'm gonna just put that in here. That should be everything. And let's give it a quick spin. I have this panel over here where I should be able to type. So I'm gonna ask it to write me the Fibonacci sequence. It seems that I forgot to install the OpenAI package. So I'm gonna go ahead and have Marimo do that now. That feels good. I'm gonna now hit retry then I see an error message that indeed the free endpoint is currently being rate limited. So, okay, fair enough. I'm going to add some credits to the account now. And there we go. I added $10 worth of credits. Note that there is a little service fee. I think I paid about 80 cents for this. So this is the little bit of markup that Open Router does ask you to pay. But if I were now to go back and go for the normal Kimi model, uh, let's copy that. And there we go. I'm no longer referring to the free model over here. So that feels good. Close this up now, go back here. Just for good measure, I can confirm the new name of the model down below here, so that all looks good. I'm gonna go ahead and retry. And there we go, works like a charm. I'm asking it to generate me a Fibonacci function. It seems to work, I can just add it to the notebook. I can hit play. And it indeed seems to work just like I would expect. So in a lot of ways, what I just did is a fairly basic demo. We're just generating the Fibonacci sequence over here with a Python function, and that's really not the hardest thing. Most LLMs can definitely handle this use case. But the thing that is exciting though, is that I'm able to pick whatever model I kind of like here. And I can keep on reusing the same one API key. Not only that, 
there are tons of models to pick from, close to 500 at the time of making this recording. As we've just seen, yeah, some of the models are free, but they tend to get a lot of traffic, so your mileage might vary there. But this model, Quen 3 Coder, also got a bunch of nice reviews, and, and you can also search based on the price per prompt. Also things like context length is stuff you can search for, so open router in a lot of ways is just one of the most convenient ways to just try out a whole bunch of models while just keeping one API key around. They do add a little bit of markup, so once you start hitting this moment when you know for sure you want to use a specific model and you're going to send a lot of traffic to it, then there does come a point where open router might be getting a bit too expensive. But given the pace of just all these models that are coming out, I can imagine open router just being one of my staple services to try out all these new models. And especially when it comes to uh, vibe coding, I do a lot of stuff in the Marima notebook. The fact that we can just hook that up quite easily by reusing the OpenAI API, uh, that is also just stellar. Now, before wrapping up, there's this one feature of Open Router that you can benefit from even if you're not paying for it or even using it. And that is the fact that they do have this ranking page. The interesting thing about Open Router is that they are the middleman and that they can check, hey, which models actually get most of the attention and most of the traffic. And, and to be quite honest, that is a signal for quote unquote quality. If people start switching models from model A to model B very quickly, this market share chart should show it. One of the things you can quickly see at a glance, by the way, is that Anthropic is just one of the most popular model providers out there. And if you were to zoom in, then you can also see the moment when they switched. So right around here, you can see, for example, that Claude 3.7 wasn't the best model anymore. The 4.0 model just got released. And you can also very quickly see that there was a bit of a regular cadence happening at first, but that's now been replaced by 4.0. Again, this is just a popularity measure, but it does tell you something about which models you might want to give a try. And uh, the main thing that I'm also very much interested in is that there's just ample support for open source models as well. And even if you need a pretty heavy GPU, you can easily give that a spin with open router. So definitely feel free to give it a spin. 